This is a video about spiral dynamics and the center of gravity. Good evening, this is Wake Up with a video about the spiral dynamics center of gravity. Within the system of spiral dynamics there is a center of gravity you find yourself in all the time. And the center of gravity can and will change all the time. You are not moving along from color to color, you are integrating colors. One color after the other to get more complete. One onion layer, one cake piece after another gets integrated by moving through the colors and their center of gravities. What causes your sleepless nights? What are you afraid of? This is your center of gravity, something that you have not grasped, understood, felt yet. This is what you're working on right now. And when you're done, you will automatically move on to the next color, integrate the next color. But this creates the illusion that we are moving along, that there's a linear development. It's not linear. It's 3D. And you will come back to integrate these topics again and again and again until you really got them. Which usually happens around coral and teal. And you will have a center of gravity and this center of gravity will move back and forth along the colors or in a circle or in a spiral again and again until you realize what you really are, who you really are. The centers of gravity of the first six colors beige to green are about personality development and from yellow on about development of consciousness. But this is not a normal learning curve. This is a holistic integration. And no color is better than another and no center of gravity is better or worse than another. It's just something you have to work through right now that you have to experience. It's not so much about learning, but about experience. There's so much talk about what turquoise and coral could be. It doesn't matter what it could be. It matters what your experience of these colors is. It's not exactly the same for everyone. It's a bit different if you see spiral dynamics as a mass psychology, mass sociology, then of course if you're talking about a group of people, it's one topic or a conglomeration of topics, but they're the same for everyone in that group on average. But you are not average. You are one specific being with all kinds of illusions and identifications and fears and limitations and talents and powers. And whatever your being is, it wants to experience. Your mind doesn't remember information. It remembers feelings, experiences. It remembers how it feels like when something happens or has happened. And sometimes it's even an obstacle to read about what could happen next or what happened to someone in another color that you haven't experienced yet yourself because then you're looking for that. But for you, that experience might be different because you need to integrate another aspect. And if you have integrated one color very quickly, which can happen, one color can take a long time and one another can take a short time. And when you move through one color very quickly, maybe you have to come back to it at one point. It doesn't mean that you're moving backwards, because anyway it's now upwards. You just spiral out a little bit and reintegrate more of that color, that topic or that meme, whatever you need. Once you have been in coral, experiencing coral things, you can go back to turquoise anytime. The axis will stay the same. You will have access to coral, but your center of gravity might change back to another color that you have experienced already, but you need to reintegrate more. And this will happen by itself. You don't have to do anything to move from one color or another. It will just happen. 99% of what happens in you is subconscious anyway. In neuroscience, the more 
uh, find out about how the brain works, the brain in quotation marks, um, whatever the mind and wherever the mind is, Whenever they try to find out which functions are subconscious and which are conscious, more and more functions turn out to be subconscious. And parts of your mind or your brain decides what is being played consciously on your mind screen. Out of about 11 million impressions, you will consciously only perceive about 40. So your subconscious knows what's good for you, and it's always in the present anyway. Only your mind moves towards the future or the past, all kinds of interpretations and ideas what might happen or could have happened. But your subconscious is in the present, and it will move towards where it needs to be. It doesn't need any help in that. But sometimes it is helpful to read or hear about people who have experienced something else, because it reminds you that there is more. That there is more to life than just functioning, that just going on and kind of watching yourself live your life as if you were not participating in it. Then you have to ask yourself the question, who am I? What is I? And as long as That question is not clear. Who am I? What it is that makes me me? Can't be my name because there are others with the same name. Can't, can't be my nationality and my height and my hair color and my skin color and my eye color. Not even my hobbies. Anyone else can have those. Who is it that you call you? That you call I? I am. I have. And as long as that is not clear, you will shift back and forth with your center of gravity between beige and yellow. And once it is clear, you can explore colors like turquoise and coral and teal and so on. And there you can explore more than just yourself. The exploration of the self is the first six colors and the exploration of more than yourself are the next few colors. What are human beings? What is the world? What is the cosmos? What is the meaning of life? What is the meaning of death? Is there a soul? Is there a God? Is there some sort of benevolent consciousness that regulates everything to the benefit of all? All these topics are topics for which your mind needs some space. And this space is created by not being completely identified with yourself anymore. All these questions about I, 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 can I do this? Can I not do this? Should I do that? Should I do that? What do other people think about me? Am I good? Am I bad? Am I successful? Am I doing it right? These are the thoughts that occupy most people. And it's okay. And you will stay there until you're not there anymore. Suddenly you're in yellow and it's about something else. And then suddenly you're in turquoise and it's about something else. And then suddenly you're in coral and it's about something completely else. And if that gets too exhausting, then you move your center of gravity back to turquoise and reintegrate a little bit more. And all this will happen by itself without your decision. You can't just decide, okay, I'm moving to turquoise now. That would be nice if that would work. No, it's happening by itself. You can struggle. You can try to avoid it, to procrastinate. And that will happen, then it will happen a little bit later. Or maybe not at all. Some people are very comfortable staying in blue or in orange or in green. Why not? Blue is a very comfortable color. It's great if you let the thinking do other people for you. Then you have even less to worry about. But once you are in turquoise, you also don't have anything to worry about anymore. Because you can experience that there is some sort of higher intelligence. And that you're a part of it. That 
you have access to it any time. And one word for it is intuition or going with the flow or letting go. But intuition will not insist. Any voice that insists is probably a fear. Intuition will suggest something and then you follow it or don't follow it. And it will not scold you if you don't follow it. The center of gravity is some kind of new problem or opportunity or task. And you can struggle through it screaming and kicking or you can follow your intuition. You want the rough ride or the smooth ride? It's all about refinement. The more refined you get, the more refined your tasks, your new opportunities will be. And then you have to find your own explanation. You cannot use the explanation of someone else. And what the human mind really wants is stability. Stability and security. That's why you will never get rid of beige and purple and they're not unimportant because this is about security and stability and surviving. And these topics will come up again and again and again in different shades and different shapes. But the stability, the equilibrium of today is the problem of tomorrow. Claire Graves recommended to stay open to new explanations. Divergent conceptions. You have to generate your own hypotheses and also test them yourself. You have to be the one who makes the experiment and the experience, not someone else. It doesn't matter in which color someone else is or which is his or her center of gravity. It's about your experience and what you experience as problematic or difficult and it's about who you are and in which context you are or imagine yourself to be. To move from color to color or to move from center of gravity to center of gravity is not like climbing a staircase. It's like a cheese maturing. The flavor is getting more and more interesting and more and more intense and more and more whole. And then there are more introvert periods like beige and red and orange and yellow and coral where you have to integrate and experience and express something regarding what you call yourself. And then there are more social colors like purple and blue and green and turquoise and teal where it's more about others and other things and your connection with them. It's more about communication and sharing. So it's more extroverted but also more passive. While the more selfish color, they are more active. Claire Graves was talking about a human adult. A human adult is not someone who just passed his 18th birthday. A human adult is like a mature cheddar. It's not enough to have the cheddar, it needs to mature. An adult is someone who is adult by law. A human adult is someone who has experienced all the different aspects of personality, of humanity. And then it really starts to get interesting. Once you don't listen anymore to what is tried and true, what everyone thinks or believes, but you just experience and watch. And the center of gravity will help you with that. Will help you to integrate and mature. Whatever your problem seems to be now, go deeply into it. As deep as you can. As long as you're running away from the topic, you will stay there. And the topic will get larger and larger and larger in your eyes. Seems to be more difficult until something happens. For example, to marry and have children, that's something that catapults many people into another color because it's very, very different. You have to make all kinds of new experiences or moving to another country or learning a different language and so on. Boggle your mind. Be flabbergasted. Be in a state of wonder. 
then your centers of gravity might change faster. To get what your current center of gravity is about, don't have a look at where other people might be. Just have a look at what you think is the most problematic thing in the world right now. Is it money? Is it the climate catastrophe? Is it a virus? Is it a certain hobby or a friend or a family member? Is it something you need to have or to get rid of? And why? Why do you need to have it? Why do you have to get rid of it? For some reason, we are afraid of change. Human beings, for some reason, are afraid of change. And one reason to stay where you are, but also to have a little bit of a change or a distraction, is to theorize about something. You stay at home, have no experiences, but you think and theorize. Or you feel emotions and then interpret and theorize. Theories are nice because they can explain things to you that you have newly experienced. And then looking back with the help of the theory, you can explain what happened. But why try to explain something that you have never experienced? Just go and experience it. It's like the story with the elephant. Four people go into a dark room and they have to describe the animal they encountered. They come back and one of them describes the animal as like a column. The other one says the, the animal is like a garden hose. The next one says the animal is like a huge butterfly. And so on. They're all describing an aspect of the elephant. The aim is to describe the whole elephant. To gather as many experiences as you can. And afterwards, someone can tell you, all these experiences, they're called an elephant. And then you can benefit from it, maybe. But to just have someone tell you an elephant is a huge animal that is grey and so on, there's no value in it. You have to have the experience. And the center of gravity will make sure that you will have the experience you need to incorporate from that color. Not everyone needs to learn the same from every color, but you need to learn these aspects and I need to learn those aspects within that color. And when I say learn, I mean integrate. Maturing, ripening. So in every stage of cheese making and ripening or wine making and ripening, there are certain things that have to happen. But it's not always the same. It depends if you're making wine or if you're making champagne or beer or cider or cheese or kimchi or whatever. You have to follow certain laws, but the way you do it is kind of individual and then this cheese will taste like this and that wine will taste like that. Not all wines taste the same. Every color is like a country. You're moving through the country, but within the laws and customs of that country, what you experience there is up to you and will not be the same than someone else who's moving through that country at the same time. And then if you're culture shocked and think, well, those people in this country, they're really unfriendly. That's your center of gravity because it's something that bothers you and it bothers you because you haven't understood it yet. And maybe some years later you come back to the same country and you don't have that problem anymore at all, but another one. You think, ah, now I understood they're not really unfriendly, they're just a little bit overly direct. But it's too hot for me in that country, or too cold. And that's your center of gravity. You have to work through that. And in yellow, for example, you have to work somehow in your fashion, in your way, through the problem that there's so much to know and so little time. And in green, in your way, in your fashion, in your, in your flavor, you have to work through the problem that humanity is screwing up the planet. 
in killing plants and animals left and right. And in orange, you have to work through that everything must be scientifically or mathematically proven. And in blue, you have to work through somehow, you have to work through the advantages and disadvantages of laws. And in turquoise, somehow you have to find your way through humanity as a spiritual community. You're realizing that the world is not revolving around you, but that you're a tiny part of it, not so very important, and that you're connected to it, to everything, to everyone. And how to find like-minded people who have the same experience. And when I say the same experience, I mean a similar experience. Similar experiences that can be talked about. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you for listening and watching. And thank you for subscribing. Hit the bell button and see you very soon. Bye.